oxybenzone dam well hello and welcome to skincare simplified my name is nipun your skincare bestie now a certified skincare consultant and today's video i'm reviewing for you a whole bunch of indian skincare brands i have tested out most of these products for over 2 months some of these i have used for much much longer I live in the UAE. Getting Indian skincare brands is not really simple. We do get some on Amazon. I purchased a whole bunch from India. I have used, tested them, seen the ingredients. So today you will get a full breakdown of products from brands like Dr. Shades, namely Naturals, Suganda, I believe, Juicy Chemistry, Chemist at Play, Rio Herbs. All in this video. So if you're interested, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, like this video. I create skincare, hair care related content three times a week, Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So if you're interested, go ahead, do subscribe and ring the notification bell. Now let's get into the video. Let's start with the most important category, and that is sunscreen. It is the most important category for me. It should be for any of the skincare enthusiasts, and I'm going to talk about sunscreens first. The first sunscreen I want to talk about is this one. It is the Dr. Shade Ceramide Vitamin C Sunscreen SPF 50 PAA. This has an amazing blend of both mineral and chemical sunscreens. It has vitamin C. It is very, very good. This product, I love this. You can see I've used quite a bit of the tube. It has zero white cast. It blends into your skin very, very easily. But the only problem with this product is that if you layer too much before, the way I do, this could potentially pill on your skin. Having said that, this is a great product. The price point is amazing. It's under 500 rupees. It blends onto your skin. This will work for all skin types, normal, combination, dry, even acne prone skin types. If you have oily skin, just don't use a cream or a moisturizer before. Go directly in with your sunscreen and you're good. But I have a problem with this product. And the problem with this product is, while this is completely safe from a pregnancy nursing perspective, when you look at the ingredient list on the Dr. Shade website, this product says it's not pregnancy safe. And I, for my life, cannot figure out what is the issue making this pregnancy unsafe. As far as I see, this is pregnancy safe. And I think, Dr. Shade, you need to update your website because this is perfectly fine for pregnant and nursing women. So this is a product I highly, highly, highly recommend. The next product really, really got my goat. I was so waiting for this. This is by Rio Herbs. It is their SPF spray. It is absolutely clear. And I have been wanting something like this, which is completely clear, water-based, because it is amazing. And that is what you need to reapply your sunscreen during the day, if and when you're, if, if and when you're wearing makeup. I should have read the ingredients before I picked up this product. This product has oxybenzone in high concentrations and let me tell you one more ingredient yes so avobenzone and oxybenzone in high concentrations now back in the day chemical sunscreens did have these two ingredients but officially these have been banned by the fda a lot of global sunscreens have recalled their products which had oxybenzone it's not a great ingredient it is potentially carcinogenic but there is evidence supporting that it is possibly carcinogenic so you don't want to get this one having said that i did use this product i will not lie i did use it i did like it but obviously i'm not going to be using it i'm just going to junk it because it's not even a product that i can give to anyone knowing the ingredients so i was really really disappointed with this one really disappointed with this one <laughs> The third sunscreen got me a little confused. This is by Namely Naturals. This is their SPF 30 mattifying sunscreen. Great SPF if you want to reapply your sunscreen, not for the first layer. This is supposed to be shaken and now this is supposed to be mattifying and clear. But when you spray it, if you spray it too close, you will see the white cast. If you spray it from a distance, it has zero white cast. So no white cast. Has a nice natural herbal fragrance. This is a product that I do use because I just have to be careful about using it from a good distance so I don't get the white cast or the white particles on my face. Having said that, this is fantastic for reapplication, not for the first use, but for reapplication. It is water resistant, so it's amazing for the summer. Doesn't break you out. If you don't mind the little Indian natural herbal fragrance kind of a fragrance, this one you will love. Highly, highly recommend it. Just be careful as a lady, if you're wearing makeup, just keep it about 12 inches away from your face before you start spraying it on. 
A sunscreen brand that I did try a few months ago, it is an Indian brand, it is available in, um, uh, on Amazon UAE, is Sunscoop. Now I tried two products, they have the SPF drops and they have this SPF 60 sunscreen. Now first off the uh, drops, I don't see the logic, it's not a bad product, I just don't see the logic in it. Super liquidy drops like this, as you know we recommend three fingers full, that means you need to literally take 20 odd drops to get one teaspoon of sunscreen. So it's a lot of liquidy stuff that you need to blend. It is good if you have oily skin, uh, it is a lightweight formula, but it is not something that my skin enjoyed that I would use over and over again. I just used it for a week. So my review of this product is good for oily skin, doesn't dry you out, uh, is non-irritating, will not break you out, but it's not one of the best, okay? Like the Dr. Shade Ceramide one is great, but this is not one of the best. Now the Sunscoop SPF 60, this one I did not quite like because while it comes out like this, when you start blending it, it has this deep silicone -y feel to it. And very quickly, if you have layered any product, even a hyaluronic acid or something before, you will start getting pilling, you know? So it starts pilling onto your face and this is something that I just completely disgusted. So I use this only like two times because this was pilling and I did not like the silicone texture that it gave me. This one, the sun, uh, the sun drops are way better, but like I said, what's the logic? You have to take 20 odd drops to make sure you have enough concentration. It's not life changing. It's not a bad product. So if you're getting it at a good price point, if this fits into your budget, you can definitely try this out, but it's not life changing. I mean, for the kind of money you want to spend, you can definitely get the Dr. Shades sunscreen. It is way better. I just want to preface here, all of these products bought with my own money, no sponsorship as usual. There has been zero sponsorship on my channel so far. And if I ever do a sponsorship, as you know, I will be extremely, extremely open about it. I have done one or two sponsored things previously on TikTok, which again, I'm very, very open about. This has all been bought by my own money, tried on my own face. Of course, some products tried with some other people just to make sure that I can't have everyone's skin type, right? So I do gift. I have a close community of friends who are very willing to test out products for me. So that is where I do all of my testing, which doesn't quite match my skin type or my skin concern. But having said that, non-sponsored, just for you. Speaking of Namely Naturals, I have to tell you about this amazing hair oil that I discovered, which I've almost finished right up to here. I just have this much product left. Now this is the Rosemary and Jojoba hair oil. As you know, if you've been following my videos, I love using rosemary hair oil, especially for hair growth. I, until I found this product, I was mixing rosemary oil with a regular oil and then applying it on my hair. Started using this product, love it, super, super affordable. You know, but there is a little packaging issue with this product. Number one, the pump never works. It's just worked a little bit, but it never really works. Okay, I got a little, just put it on my hair because I am, I have to wash my hair anyway, so it's okay. It worked right now, but it takes a really long time for this pump to work. Number two, a pump is not really great. So what I like to do is use a dropper and then apply it. Other than a little bit of a packaging issue, this is a great product, highly recommend it, does help hair growth, fantastic formula, rosemary, jojoba, pre-mixed, you don't have to get into the messy details. Highly, highly recommend this product. I discovered some really good gems here. Number one is the Stoner Mist. This is the Squalene Toner Mist. This has obviously hydrating ingredients, squalene, a whole bunch of fruit extracts. It has some rose oil, tube rose oil, which gives it a nice fragrance. But if you don't like fragrance, this is not for you. Fantastic product. It has aloe vera, very, very hydrating, will not irritate your skin. But my problem with this is the concentration of squalene, which is very, very, very low. It's literally in the last four ingredients. And that is why I don't think this really qualifies to be a squalene toner mist, but just as a mist, it is a good mist to have. It's a great price point. This is a mist. It works as a toner. It works as a mist. It works as whatever you want to make it work. It is a good product. Concentration of squalene is low. Doesn't really qualify as a squalene product for me, which is why you will understand why I don't trust Indian brands but it is a good product that you can have fantastic price point. So this is something I highly, highly recommend. Just don't think about squalene when you're buying this product and you're good to go. The other one, the other two products, again, from Dr. Shades. Number one is the Amla Vitamin C Serum. Oh my dear Jesus, 20% ascorbic, ethyl ascorbic acid, which is water soluble, ferulic acid, 
add a little bit of vitamin E, 1% vitamin E. It is a great product. This worked very, very well on my skin when I used it for about a week. But my only point is, if you have really sensitive skin, this could be a little irritating. So, you know, start with a lower concentration. But this is a great product. So if you are suffering from hyperpigmentation, melasma, or you just want to use vitamin C from an anti-aging perspective, get this one. This will not disappoint you. It is the Amla VC20 vitamin C serum. Fantastic product. Nothing bad to say about it. All good things. I think it is a great formulation. Now, moving on to the next product, which I've actually tried in a video previously, and I loved it so, so much, is the High Strength Medifacial Home Peel. I did a video on how do you do a chemical peel at home. All of you loved it. In that, I had used the High Strength, high strength Peel from Dr. Shades. Now, they have this kind of a peel that comes in in three concentrations, low, medium, and high. So depending on where you are in your skincare journey, you can literally pick one that suits you. If you have skin like me that has gone through a lot of love and torture, you can go with the high strength one. I have only used this product three times, I think since the time I got it. I've used it three times. And honestly, I'm not a big fan of doing peels at home, but this one just makes my skin look amazing for the next one week. So I do recommend this. But if you're doing a chemical peel at home, go ahead, see that video. Don't do it wrong. You could burn your skin. So I do recommend it, especially if you have hyperpigmentation, melasma, two-tone skin, this is good. Let's say you have super intense melasma or a melasma that's been for years and years and years. This will not work as well as a professional high strength peel that you can get from a dermatologist or an esthetician because this concentration is around, you're really looking at about a rough blended concentration of 20 odd percent. Whereas an esthetician or a dermatologist will use high strength peels, which will go up to 60, 70 percent. Those peels really make your skin peel like ek layer bahar aati hai. Having said that, fantastic home peel. I really, really say it is way better than the ordinary. I know ordinary is super famous, but this is amazing. The next product from Dr. Shades, I have not used it a lot, but for whatever it's worth, this is by far the best beginner friendly retinol product, but it is not retinol. This is Bakuchoil Peptide Serum. Now, Bakuchoil is a vitamin A, a vitamin a derivative, which is plant-based which makes it absolutely safe for pregnant and nursing women. Because if you've seen my pregnancy skincare video, you know that retinol amongst many other ingredients is not recommended for pregnant and nursing women, but this one is safe. This is so gentle, so gentle, like for someone like me, I couldn't even feel anything. This is a good blend of peptides and, uh, and uh, vitamin A. So this can really, really work well from an anti-aging perspective, number one, if you're pregnant or nursing, number two. So I would definitely recommend this serum. This is gentle. So if you're a beginner, it's the first ever time you're wanting to use a retinol-like product because this is not retinol. You can start with Bakuchoil. This is super gentle. You will be able to use it consistently over a period of time. No irritation, no redness, no rashes. This is 10 on 10. Let's roll into our next brand, which is Pilgrim. With Pilgrim, I picked up four products. And I'm gonna start with a product that I don't trust, I don't like, and it doesn't work. And that is the vitamin C and retinol eye cream. The good part is this product is affordably priced. You get a really, really good quantity. I mean, look at this. This is almost like a face cream. So this is supposed to work. It has vitamin C and retinol. So if you look at the ingredients, this should work on dark circles. It should also work on underlying, under eye, fine lines and wrinkles. Having said that, this product is drying, drying as F. It really dried out my under eye area when I used it for three days at a stretch. After that, I had to sort of use this every alternate days and I really felt that my under eye area was drying and looking worse than normal. So this is a product I don't trust, I don't recommend, not happening for me. Having said that, they have the exact same version in the retinol hyaluronic acid vitamin C night cream and this is amazing. This is a gentle hydrating retinol based cream and this has retinol, so it is not safe for pregnant and nursing women. But if you're not first pregnant, you're not nursing, you're a man, you can definitely use this product. Beginner friendly, doesn't dry you out, doesn't irritate. But how does this compare to the Bakuchoil Peptide Serum by Dr. Shades? This I recommend 
because this has uh, peptides so this has definitely more anti-aging benefits this is gentler so you can use it consistently you can literally use this product every single night a pea size amount a little more than a pea size amount and it will not irritate your skin whereas with this product you will have to give it breaks and build up your skin to using it so the two products deliver differently but this has vitamin c is ha it has hyaluronic acid it is brightening and anti-aging this has bakuch oil which is a vitamin a it has peptides this is better for anti-aging so based on your skin goals and where you are in your skincare journey you decide don't use this together it will be a little too much for your skin trust me i tried it but this is a great beginner friendly retinol cream based option in india that you can get for about 550 600 dirhams i highly highly recommend it another product from the very same range which is pilgrim that i do recommend especially for all my girls and boys who have hyperpigmentation melasma is the vitamin c alpha arbutin brightening serum this product ladies and gentlemen is liquid gold concentration of vitamin c is less but you've got 2% alpha arbutin serum this is fantastic when you are looking to brighten your skin fight dark spots fight hyperpigmentation if you've seen any of my videos i do recommend that if you have mild hyperpigmentation and melasma you can use a two in one product like this ordinary does have a vitamin c plus 2% alpha arbutin serum this is very similar but better having said that if you have intense melasma then you cannot use this product because it will not work because the concentration of vitamin c is very very low in that case i would still recommend that you use a serum like this which is like the amla vitamin c 20% vitamin c serum and use an alpha arbutin on top of it the concentration of vitamin c is low in this but if you have two tone skin slight hyperpigmentation slight issues this is a product from pilgrim the brightening serum which has vitamin c and alpha arbutin you can definitely definitely go with it it is an amazing product it will not let you down but like i said you have bigger problems intense melasma big hyperpigmentation you need a stronger serum so this is another product that i absolutely love from pilgrim in fact amongst all of these this is one of my favorites but i have to tell you about a product that i just could not use and this is the 24 karat gold facial mask now you guys know i love facial masks i love collecting them i love love using them and i love shimmer and glitter so i was like why not though gold is not like the best ingredient but this is something i just wanted to try number one problem number one all of these products are fragranced but this is like literally perfume something about this is off the fragrance is too too strong and i don't mind fragrance in my skincare but this is too strong number two when i applied it onto my face my face started burning i had to take it off in 30 seconds so i don't know whether it's my face something in the ingredients though the ingredients seem all right something in the ingredients or something else but this is an absolute no no this is going to be junked right after this video so from pilgrim of the four products that i tried out i do recommend for you the alpha arbutin vitamin c serum and i do recommend for you the retinol hyaluronic acid vitamin c night cream these are two products from pilgrim that i do highly recommend for you why i don't trust indian brands part three of this video talking of pilgrim got this eye cream that i was so excited to try because this has caffeine and squalene which i felt will work very well from hydration perspective also puffiness it's a roll on product but after having pressed this down 20000 times i haven't managed to get the product out there's literally nothing on my hand now i'm really confused as to how i should work with this product whether i should scoop it out what should i do i've not really done anything with it i really think pilgrim needs to relook at their packaging this baby doesn't work you know some of the indian brands and i've tried once in the past i've tried some now they have some great formulations but i feel in certain things we take shortcuts and that is a very desi thing try and take shortcuts do jugars not really work on full aspects of branding and that is something we should learn from global brands because i think we have formulations that can compete and go beyond global formulations like when i look at this dr shape bakuch oil peptide serum i mean this should be selling in harrods it is that good but packaging overall presentation branding i think we need to really learn a few things having said that this pilgrim eye cream i couldn't try because i couldn't get it out that is a big issue 
let's move on to the next now we're going to move on to a brand which i really enjoyed i loved love loved it okay let me get all my products here the brand is juicy chemistry this was actually recommended to me by a really really close relative and she said that i should try this because she's heard good things about it now number one i want to talk about this deodorant stick the blood orange geranium organic deodorant stick fantastic having said that i have to actually get help to push this out because it is tough you need to push it from the bottom and then a little bit comes out and you use it great fragrance it is not an anti perspirant but to me i did feel that it reduces the precipitation or the pres precipitation perspiration whatever it reduces sweat fantastic ingredient great fragrance very affordable organic doesn't irritate your skin all those good things that you want it is this product highly highly recommend this from juicy chemistry the next product which also is from juicy chemistry is the tea tree peppermint organic dusting powder talc free good for your skin it is a fantastic product especially in the summer months not so much now the tea tree has a cooling impact on your skin and this is really good i got one more which i think i have finished or someone has whacked off me it is a damask rose one i didn't quite enjoy that too much because i didn't like the fragrance though it is rosy but this one the tea tree peppermint chef's kiss it is beautiful and it is a great powder dusting powder option that i would recommend to you guys so both of these products which is the deodorant stick and the peppermint powder fantastic must include great 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 price points i have two more products for you here but let me talk about the first one that i absolutely enjoy and i think it has a genuine benefit that they don't talk about and they should it is the blood orange rose hip uh, lip balm okay it is an organic lip balm so as you can see i don't know if you can see i've literally scooped in quite a bit of this product it is hydrating it is nourishing it is all good things and i can tell you that this product does reduce hyperpigmentation on the lips if you've seen my video on dark lips you would know i do have a routine for dark lips that includes a lot of other products what i would recommend at this point is that if you have dark lips get this lip balm this does work on brightening your lips it is a fantastic product great ingredients keeps your lips hydrated for like more than 24 hours highly highly recommend it and the other product which was where i'm a little dis disappointed is the damask rose coffee eye cream and i'll tell you why i'm disappointed with this product now i tried using quite a bit of it so firstly it is hydrating melts into your skin is great having said it this whole oily petroleumy texture is not really good because it can actually aggravate or cause melia also having said that this product will hydrate your under eye area 100% so if you have fine lines wrinkles which are caused by just purely dehydration this baby will work don't overuse it use the size of a grain because otherwise you're at the risk of getting yourself some melia having said that this does not work on under eye puffiness i actually gave this product first to a friend of mine to test out who has extensive puffy eyes not just in the morning in general didn't work when you see caffeine in a product you want it to work on dark circles and puffy eyes does not work but is great it's hydrating it's a bit too oily for my liking liking so like i said use carefully but if you want to skip this product skip it because juicy chemistry in general has some great products but now let me tell you about my favorite product where is my favorite product oh it's right here my favorite product from juicy chemistry the cacao dew plump this is the pomegranate or this is the pomegranate organic facial oil this one i have used so lovingly so dearly this is a nighttime oil so i don't use it every day obviously but on my retinol nights when i need a little bit extra hydration or whatever else that is when i have used it i have also used it on nights when i don't use retinol which is just my hydrating nights i have used it this is a nighttime oil with this product you wake up the next day almost like you had an overnight facial it brightens your skin your skin looks brighter i'm not saying it's brightening your skin your skin looks brighter 100% it looks firm it looks gorgeous this is an amazing product the oil is very thick 
So if you just get one drop oil, this is literally enough for your entire face, your neck, the back of your neck, your decollete, all of that. It is a really, really thick oil. The fragrance is strong. All of these brands have a very, very strong fragrance. So if you mind fragrance, I'm saying it again. If you don't like fragrance, Indian skincare brands are not for you because they have a lot of fragrance. Having said that, this oil, I think I'm going to repurchase. It is my absolute favorite from the line. I think I have two favorites from Juicy Chemistry that I have tried. I have tried this plum oil, the Kakaru Plum Pomegranate Oil and the Lip Balm. These two products, I think, like I said, they are way better than any other facial oil or lip balm I have ever tried. And I've tried a lot of them. So this is a little roundup on Juicy Chemistry. I also do have a hair oil from them, the chili hair oil. However, I've not really tried it because when I started using this one from Neenly Naturals, I just loved it so much that I've continued with it. I'm going to wait for this bottle to finish. And as you know, it'll finish rather quickly because there's a lot left. There's not a lot left. And then I'm going to try that. So maybe it's going to be in a different video. But this is Juicy Chemistry. Now let's move on to the next. Now let's talk about Chemist at Play. I purchased Chemist at Play serums from Amazon in the UAE beginning of this year. I've used all of them, but I never really did a review of them on YouTube. So today I'm going to talk about it. One of my favorite products from this brand is their vitamin C serum. 20% vitamin C, ferulic acid, uh, vitamin E, really, really good formula. It comes in two concentrations, 10%, 20%. So if you have sensitive skin, you're a first time user, go in for the 10% or you can use the 20%. It is a really, really good product. I absolutely, absolutely love it. But if you asked me, if nobody's asked me, but I'll tell you any which ways. If you asked me, Nippon, Pick between Dr. Shade's Amla Vitamin C or Vitamin C Serum from Chemist at Play. I would pick up Dr. Shade's 20% Amla Vitamin C Serum. This is way, way, way better. Having said that, at the price point it is available, this is a good Vitamin C. 20% concentration, great for fine lines, wrinkles, hyperpigmentation and melasma. This is one you can definitely give a go. The second product is the Hyaluronic Acid plus 10% Niacinamide. Obviously, concentration of hyaluronic acid is low, niacinamide is more. This is a really good serum, but I don't recommend it for people who have dry, normal to dry skin like myself, or sometimes my skin is very, very dry. I don't recommend it. The niacinamide 10 formulation in this reminds me a little bit of the ordinary, which is drying and irritating for a lot of skin types. And that is what it was for me. So this is a product I barely used. After a few days, I stopped using it because it was drying me out. It was irritating my skin. But if you have oily skin, this is something you can definitely try. The other product that I do kind of recommend from this range, if you're a first time person starting with, sorry, if you're a first time person starting with exfoliation is the 10% AHA, 1% hyaluronic acid. This is a AHA based serum to be used once or twice a week. Again, non-irritating non formula, good for all skin types. Largely, if you have normal combination or oily skin types, you can go in with a 10% AHA. And a product that I really, really loved, and it is one of my favorite products, is salicylic acid. So they have salicylic acid 2%, 1% zinc, fantastic for open pores, acne prone skin, comodonal acne, sebaceous filaments, all of those things. I would highly recommend the salicylic acid serum from Chemist at Play. Indian brands are delivering fantastic formulations at even better prices. And that to me as a woman, as a consumer, as an Indian citizen, makes me feel proud and safe. Having said that, there are brands or there are products from various brands that I just don't trust. I've told you about it. If I find more in the future, be sure you will find a video on this channel. If you're still watching this video to this point, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. It costs you nothing, but it keeps me motivated to create content three times a week. And trust me, with a full-time job, it is a lot of work. So go ahead, hit the subscription, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. If you want to see the evolution of skincare in India, 100 years of skincare in India, it is a two-minute video. I'm going to link it right here. Go ahead, watch it, enjoy it. I will see you in the next one. Take great care of yourself. Bye.